Ahoy bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. I just realized, I mean Remake Rebirth, sorry. It's the stupid title. Anyway, um, I just went into the little closet that the uh, hotel manager gave us. So nothing really happened, but I didn't realize I wasn't recording yet, so we're just right in the middle of a cutscene. So, let's go. On a date, kind of. Hey, no! I haven't decided which one I want yet. Probably Tifa, but one. At least till things calm down. if I could be in a thruple with Cloud, with a uh, Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith, that'd be pretty cool. Got that? Uh, oh. Now let's move. All right, let's go, you fucking losers. But yeah, still no face cam. Um. I'll probably buy one when I get paid. I saw one on Amazon that I really liked. I don't have a lot of money right now, so I'm trying to spend lightly, but this is a good quality one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And I've heard a lot of like streamers and YouTubers use this one, so that's pretty cool. I want this chest. Fuck you guys. So hopefully that goes well. God, I thought I was playing uh, Last of Us for a second and I thought this was a note I can pick up. <laughs> it literally looks like a note you would pick up in that game. I've been playing part two again, the story, and it's pretty awesome. Ah uh, yes, this is me when I wake up. I'm blinded. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. and start walking. <laughs> left, go left, go left, right. <laughs> you see why Barrett is my least favorite? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, obviously I want my two waifus. I don't want fucking Barrett's stupid ass. And honestly, I do not remember what Red does at all. <laughs> Holy shit, I explore just all of this area? Is 
Doesn't even look like there's anything here besides like flowers, so I don't know what to explore here. It's like how I play Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild. Just go where there's any building. <laughs> there's anything. Area of interest. Ah, so it's exactly like Elden Ring and, or Breath of the Wild. I was scared for a second because I saw red on those boxes and there's like a... There's a golden rule in video games, never hit anything or shoot anything that's red because it could be a bomb. Yeah, I figured there'd be something on this other side. Oh shit! Why did you jump down here? I wanted you to jump on the other side. Oh, okay, I could just get down here. What are those things? Ugly fucking creatures? Um... Oh yeah, that reminded me. I saw someone on Twitter. I, I'm pretty sure it was an Xbox fanboy. Because this is only on PlayStation, I'm pretty sure. Basically, Cloud doesn't is not wet from that water at all. <laughs> and someone was like, This game's stupid! He doesn't even get wet with his, from the water. It's like... Who, who fucking cares? Like, look at this sword he's carrying. Do you think? Cl do you think any? You can be the bu you can be Barrett size. You can be the buffest man on this planet. You could be Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. Do you think you'd be caught carrying this sword around this whole journey? No. This should be your immersion breaker, not the fucking goddamn water. No one in their right mind would carry this big ass sword. Finally, it's combat. I won't be bored out of my mind. Oh, I was like, what is that noise back there? Why is Barrett just like chilling all the way over there? Get in here, you fucking pig. Let's finish this. Nice little workout. <laughs> Just sitting over there shooting? What a loser. Oh, that's a card store. Just a random like card store in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not a business, uh I don't have a business degree. I actually pursued business early in my college youth, but after the first year. We're fine. After the first year I dropped out of it because I found uh business is so boring, so I changed my major. Yeah, you can make some money on business, but you also can't, and if they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters it's just really boring. I wasn't into it. I ain't no business expert, but I'm pretty sure that is a bad place for a card shop. I don't imagine you're gonna get very much customers. Just a thought. Rupee. And this game is really ripping off Breath of the Wild now, isn't it? I 
I hope these are actually worth something, I'm not just some... Like you- Oh, there's a farm here! Damn useless fucking trinket. Wow, there's actually people here? And they seem really unbothered, these like random strangers are coming onto their farm. I'd be like freaking the fuck out, like who the fuck are these people? God, people here are friendly. Well, I think this is a side mission here. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shimmer's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Okay. What is this? Oh, is this that little machine that dude gave me? Aerith has five of them, okay. That's pretty cool. What is this? Well, I'd rather have this. Tifa's got one. Synergy ability. Well, this one just seems cooler. I think Barrett had one too. And Mr. Red here had one. Alright. Everyone's got one now. Bangle for somebody. A bangle! What can you do with rubies? Literally nothing? I know what you can do with these, like all these materials, so I'll keep those. <laughs> I think my dog is having a nap, he's just moving positions. I put a little chain on him so I know where he's at. Tyria... I don't think I have one to put on somebody right now. Okay. All right, well, let's go, team. This is a pretty peaceful area. I can see why there's a lot of farmers out here. I 
I think I have to go all the way to this like bridge over here. I did bring a few topics to the table since it's just my voice you're going to be hearing. And they're all important subjects. Somewhat. So, Taylor Swift posted a story where she was talking about the, uh, the presidential primary in Tennessee since election season's coming around. Wait, what's this? Oh, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. <laughs> You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Oh my god. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. I like this guy. He gets it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you want alone time, huh? Anyway, so she was talking about Swifty was talking about the uh, primary election because we got elections coming up. That's a whole fucking another discussion point, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Anyway, and it led to a bunch of people tweeting, oh, but you can't talk about Palestine right now. And here's my thing. She doesn't fucking have to. I'm so, like, re getting real tired of, like, the debate around the Israel-Palestine situation. Yes, it is awful that, like, a you can need magic against these bastards. I'll show you what I can do. Anyway, it's it's awful what's going on. But do we need to talk about it like 24/7? Does every celebrity need to comment on it? No. In fact, based on like the things they've been saying, why do you want people to? Why do you want them to even discuss it? They've been saying a lot of stupid shit on it. Like, I just don't get it. Why do we need celebrities to comment on it? And I've heard all the reasons. I think we're almost done. Oh, because it brings awareness. You need celebrities to bring you awareness to situations going on? That's not their fucking job. On Taylor's, like, point, her job is to make music. Her job is to make songs. If she wants to talk about these things, cool. That's cool, and she seems to be very knowledgeable on, like, the, uh... And passionate about the, the, these presidential elections coming up. That's cool. Alright? I prefer when you have, like, all your knowledge, like, already in mind, and then you can talk about it. I don't, I don't get why, like, these people want, like, these celebrities to speak up on this subject. It's not their fucking job. And I get that they have huge platforms, but it's still their platform. They can do whatever they want with it. You might not like it that they're not talking about it like 24/7. But that's just that's just human nature. All right? A lot of us want just go home, relax, kick back and relax. We don't want to just be bombarded with like news of a war going on. We know it's going on. You know, 
there's nothing much we can do about it. It's in a whole, at least in America or other countries, it's in a whole nother country. And what a lot of people aren't willing to discuss is that they both have histories of just atrocities against one another. Uh, especially from Palestine's side, Israel too, they're both guilty of it. <laughs> but I've noticed a lot of people are not willing to talk about the side on Palestine's. It's just ridiculous to me. People are just acting like such jackasses about it, at least online. Or actually in real life, too. I'll get to that in a second. But it's just like... Stop getting... Stop trying to want these celebrities to speak out about subjects. First of all, they don't know you shit. The only thing you should expect out of them is what they're known for. If they're known for movies, you should expect them for movies. If they're known for music, expect them for music. That's it. I don't get my political takes from, honestly, everybody, because I'm a fucking grown-ass man and I can make up my own mind. Uh, but we shouldn't get our political takes from celebrities. They're people, they're dumbasses just like us, alright? I don't know why you guys want, like, Swifty support. I think I know why. I think it's because, like, a lot of people love the idea that, like, Oh, Taylor Swift thinks like me! I honestly think it's just that. I don't think it's actually like they care about the issue at all. That's my thing. Because, like, it's like, why the fuck do you care about her opinion so goddamn much? I love Taylor Swift. She's one of my favorite artists right now. And of all time, actually. But do I, like, care for what she thinks politically? No, not really. If she wants to say it, that's interesting, sure, but. I'm not, like praying to the heavens like god please let her speak on this genocide i want to hear her thoughts and opinions on it no i don't really expect her to talk about it ever i just i i i guess i understand i don't really understand it i think it's kind of stupid like i understand it but i don't understand it at the same time I get like you want to be like your favorite celebrity or whatever, but it's just like... They're just like us. They're just like me and you. Yeah, they might be like a hundred times richer, but... They're fucking stupid idiots just like me and you. And that brings me to another point. Of... I'll get to that in a minute. I have a feeling there's a... Ooh. I got a fucking sword. I'll get to that in a second. This was the sword I can fucking buy earlier. This sword looks really cool. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? The great part about not having a face cam, a face cam, I can't speak right now. Is that I can pick my nose while I talk to you guys, and you guys would never even know. I can just put my dick on the microphone, you guys would never even know. Midgard Swarmer, beware. But even if you're slow, you can That was just my hand. I'm not kidding. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird. Well, I use this mic. I don't want my ball sack on it. Some birds? Can we? Fine. I was gonna say yes anyway. They can do whatever they want. Anyway, while well, we go on to this, another little adventure here.
Protesting is an unequivocal human right. We all have a right to do it, and that's fine. You can protest whatever you want. Even if it's stupid shit, like you're an anti-vaxxer, you do unfortunately have the right to do that, even though I think it's a stupid fucking cause. But this brings me to my next point. The way a lot of people, especially my age, are handling protests is so fucking stupid and will get literally nothing done. I'll give you an example. Boycotting. I hate to shatter your guys' ego, but boycotting literally almost does nothing. Especially in this situation, like you want to boycott like whatever Israel has their pockets in. I hate to shatter your uh, hopes and dreams, but Israel ha literally has their pocket in like everything. That whole stereotype that is honestly not a stereotype at all at this point, <laughs> that like Jews own everything. It's true. Why do you think so many, why do you think this one group of people owns all fucking almost everything in America? The properties, products to fucking gaming to movies and shows to everything why do you think that's the case because it's always passed down from the next generation to the next so it literally be impossible to boycott anything you need food to survive right well they got their hands in that too So, it's a little bit stupid, but what I'm getting at is... Apparently, pro, like, Palestine people were trying to boycott Dune Part 2. I saw a TikTok of this really fucking delusional lady. Who was like, I thought we were boycotting Dune Part 2. And she was just going how on and on and on about how it's, like, Israel propaganda when... It, I haven't seen it yet, but I know for a fact it's not. <laughs> it's just a, a good movie, a good story. You know, people are going to movies now more than ever to escape the reality. And yeah, Dune may have some similarities to our reality, but that's fine. I, I can. That's fine. I, I'm looking for a good story away from my reality. I know art imitates life. <laughs> Anyway, people were boycotting and apparently like Timothy Chalamet is uh, apparently pro-Israel, but I've yet to see any proof of it. Anyway, this lady was just going on and on and on about how you should boycott Dune Part 2 and all of her reasons are fucking stupid. They're all just so- she's just super delusional. I feel like she's like off her meds or something. Because, like, nothing she was saying was making any sense. I don't want to even show it, because I don't want to, like, get her in trouble or anything, because, uh... She, she just doesn't seem, like, mentally right. And one of the points that, like, stuck out to me about this TikTok was that... She was using, uh... Ethan Klein as a good example. Like, oh, Ethan Klein said this. H3H3 said this. If you're using uh, H3H3 as your defense in 2024, you already lost. That man is just as delusional as you are. <laughs> that man does not know what he's talking about half the time. I think this is the farm she's talking about. And I have one more point after this, and that's Pleasure it. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. 
You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Billy, Billy. Think there'll be anything here? I don't know, right? I don't know. So far, there hasn't really been any points of exploring. I doubt I have any, like, points. Oh, wait, I fucking do. Never mind. See what we got. Mm. All right, Aerith's got one. What is hers? Tifa, Tifa, sweetheart. Unique abilities. That one seems cool. And Barrett, what do you got? That one seems fucking trash. Oh, with this one. Oh, fuck, I forgot about red. Okay, I don't think I have enough money to buy anything, sadly. Billy, Billy, Billy. How original. Bill named his son Billy. But you're out of luck. Pops. Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. We've got like ten of them These in here. Spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is ten grand each. <laughs> Jesus the Christ! Is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Her name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kids are born businessmen. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway, I don't think so. I'll explain why in a second. Riding and rearing lessons are on me.
I can see why Shinra took over these people. This guy literally was like, oh, it's 10 grand for all of you. Oh, you know what? It's a grand. Oh, you know what? If you find this one uh, bird for me, then it's free of charge. It's like, god damn, you're a shitty business, man. I would have fucking put all these people in debt for this fucking bird. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his I don't job. think he does. I understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Okay, I don't know if I have any though. Yeah, I don't. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. I'm gonna climb up here and steal some shit. Oh, you girls came up here for me. That's sweet. I'm just went up here for one second. Meanwhile, Barrett is here sucking some fat ass. Hi, how can I help you today? What the hell am I supposed to buy? Like, wants me to buy something. I don't know what it is. Just buy this. You're welcome back here anytime. Welcome, folks. I don't really understand what the mission is there. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some traps. Do 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 do. And oh yeah, my last point about protest. My generation does not know how to protest at all. <laughs> it is your right to protest, sure, even if it's for stupid shit. But you guys do not know how to protest at all. Why are you protesting? At the goddamn Oscars of all places. And not just like in person, just like treating them like they're fucking Cersei Lannister on the fucking staircase. Just like, shame, shame, shame. Why? They didn't even do anything. You guys are just fucking jackasses. Protesting never works if you're bothering the wrong people. If you're just a like, people are just gonna see you as a nuisance no matter what it is. Like those like ass like those energy like protest people who like protest like the fucking energy crisis. They like go out of their way to like block highways that you know the common folk like us use. Why don't you go to the fucking like energy buildings and protest yeah. them like to their on, face? Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. 
when you're on the hunt like your protests are you not no matter i know it's for like palestine hey, and whatever you know we're not here to, kill him, to get right? a ceasefire yeah but it's not gonna work if you're just harassing normal people about it like no one's gonna take you seriously they're just gonna think you're a fucking asshole it's not gonna work if you just keep protesting like this these aren't protests these are just you're just harassing people It's so fucking annoying, and I see it online all the time, too. Especially about the Oscars, like, every comment section on the Oscars... I didn't know what button to push. Like, every comment I saw... Oh, I have to hold it was just about Palestine. It's like, I'm not here to read about Palestine. I'm here to like read like other comments. It is so goddamn infuriating. Like this is never gonna work. It's just annoying. It like, it's just like spam at this point. It's like, shoo, get the fuck out of here. And I know what you might be thinking. Oh, you're so, you're so smart. How do we protest then? Well, it's really easy. It is really fucking easy. Go to the White House and protest. Go to the Capitol and protest. Go protest to the people that are actually making these decisions. Not at just everyday normal people who have nothing to do with these decisions. Yeah, most of these people, like, we all, like, feel bad for them. We all feel bad for Palestine and don't want them to get bombed on the 24 7. We all feel really bad for them, but there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can really do. And you guys just like shaming the fucking Oscars and all these actors and not like regular people just trying to get to their job is never going to work. It's never going to work. It's just going to make you, it's just going to make us annoyed at you. It's just gonna make us not take you seriously. We're just gonna look at you like you guys are idiots. Holy shit. Like, go to the people actually, like, sending money to Israel. Go to them. Go protest at them. Go make your voice heard to them. Not to us. We know. We know. We know we what you want. Just the cutest? <laughs> it is just so fucking stupid. Like, seriously, research like actual historical protests that worked. And don't just inconvenience people. That's not what protesting is. Maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. <clears throat> But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> this thing is so fucking cute. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. I won't eat chicken for the rest of the week. Just because of this thing. But yeah, that's the end of my little rant there. I, I was just getting like super annoyed recently, because all all I see online and like on TikTok and Twitter is just about people protesting for Palestine and I just see it like done all incorrectly all in the wrong most annoying way and it's just like you guys can make so much progress if you just do it entirely different than what you're doing but you're not you're making zero progress and you're making everybody just hate you <laughs> like everywhere I go I just see people just especially online just harassing celebrities like why well, are you not talking about it because i don't fucking have to is it? yeah it sucks I, I, I feel bad for all the civilians caught in that bullshit 
But there's nothing we can do. You know, war has been a constant thing throughout my whole life, my 23 years of living. is a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't idea if we ask him this. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? <sighs> but yeah, there's been like... What? Wait, what? Oh my god, hey you? What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? <laughs> I could say no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my I god, I would. really want to be a dick, but it I don't want to. It was an absolute to. pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for Holy someone shit, to Holy shit, they all seem so use. far apart. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. I and figured that had to be something. It. The Chad the module close by. Allow me to accompany you. That is such a funny name, the Chad module. Ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Holy fuck, this map is huge. I didn't even think to look at it right now. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it a Chad World Research. Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Hmm, no. In that case, <laughs> I get it. I see no reason not to begin at once. 
With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? What the fuck? Um, I don't want this one. Oh, perfect! And I get that one too. That's, I that's another one I want. I wish you all the in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. What the? F Has that robot always been with him? Oh, he has one already. Okay. Okay, well, I want to give that materia the fire and ice one to Aerith. Just because she's going to summon more than, like, Cloud and everybody else will. And I'll give this one to Cloud, too. Anyway, the last thing I was just going to say about those protests. There's been war, like, my whole life. There's been... The war on terrorism, the war on drugs, the Ukraine war, which people honestly seem to have forgotten about. It's still happening, by the way. And now this war. There's been war, like, my whole life. I've, like, grown to accept that, like, people just are hateful. There's a lot of people, not everyone, but there's a lot of people that are just hateful, fucking war-mongering pieces of shit. And there's really nothing I can do about it. The best thing I think we can do is just live our lives in the present. This is the best we can. Have fun with your friends, your family, and just enjoy yourselves any way you can. There's going to be a lot of war in our lifetime. I've like accepted the fact that there's probably never going to be peace in my lifetime. There's just always going to be war. Always. Over the stupidest fucking things. Oh, he's on my land. He, that was our land a hundred years ago. Like, whatever. I, I've grown to accept wow. that. I have recreated Titan. And you know what? The of the grasslands I think it's a good space. mentality to have. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Ironically enough, I got that idea from Attack on Titan. I, like, it's ending really, like kind of inspired me in a way it made me realize because i was like wow there's been wars like ever since i was born and there's really nothing i could do about it holy shit there's so much i can do Um, I'll do this one. But yeah, that's my full rant on the state of the protest right now. I think they're all dumb and silly and people just don't know how to protest at all. I'm also just kind of sick of seeing it online all the time. Like, you know what? Sometimes online I just want to read some news or... Not even news, just look at some memes or some funny shit or something. And not having to see... Oh, but did you donate to the Palestine? Like... Ugh. It's just really fucking exhausting. Dog is laid the fuck out right now. Alright. Oh my god, that guy looks badass. 
Okay. I think I gotta go with my big team here. My big three. My three all-stars, my Shohei, my Mookie, and my Freeman. Yes, I'm a Dodger fan, eat shit. Oh shit, he's coming right after me. Fucking cunt. How ironic, I'm talking about- I was, like, mention Attack on Titan, and there's like- It just looks like I'm fighting, like, Reiner right now. Oh, sorry for spoiling it, I hope you're not watching it now. I'm fighting the Armored Titan. Why are there like holes on the ground? Ow. Rusher! Why is he just going after me? What the fuck is that? I don't even have any heal right now. Oh my goodness gracious. My god, I know how to play! Warp ship. Shit. Damn, that's badass. Why do I feel like I'm not taking anything out of Right. Oh shit! I am so low on health. I can't use items, are you kidding me? If he regains health, but I can't tell. What the fuck? Oh my god, this guy's a fucking beast. I feel like I'm not doing any damage to him, like, at all. Yeah, there's, like, no way I should be fighting him right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to be fighting him right now. There's no way I could beat him. What? How does that make any sense? I have to fight him at his full power, and then I fight him less and less and less? What? How does that make any fucking sense? You yeah, I don't, think, I don't think I'm supposed to... Simulation. I look forward to seeing what you discover yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be travels. fighting him just yet, because I'm like doing nothing to him. Well, at least I can talk to everybody. Start with you. Oh wait, I can't. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot, and your chocobo will come a running. So, so I'm living in Red Dead Redemption. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. I want to see what she wants over here. We're a one-stop shop for all your chocobo needs. If 
you ever want to change your Chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just Oh, I just had to buy one of those things? I feel like he already had this on, or it was like a different one. Where did Billy the fucker ass go? Wait, how do I use the whistle? I forgot how. Oh. Here it is. He just comes running. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Remember now, just give your whistle a blow to ride your chocobo. Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Okay, dash. Alright, seems easy enough. Let's go, little buddy! This thing is so stinky cute, man. I want a Chocobo now. If they ever make like a Chocobo Funko, I want it, but I doubt it. They've never, I don't even think they made Final Fantasy Funkos that aren't like ridiculously expensive. Oh, damn. I got first place, suckers. Dad was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race with you at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. No. No, I did not have fun with any of the side missions in the last game. But I guess I'll do it since I never do any side missions in games. And I think it's making me do this one. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Ask your brother. Really? You will? <laughs> the flowers grow on a hill that's a great view of Midgar. It's kind of Fuck fun, off, ask your brother. We'll get you there quick. Thank you so much. Head to the windflower. God damn, that is far, but luckily. I got a chocobo with me. 
I think I saw I had points too. I don't know for who. Yeah, fucking lied to me. Chocobo, come here, boy. Oh damn, they all get one. Let's go, Chocobo gang. <laughs> oh, this is gonna make it way faster. Wait, can I uh, pick up stuff on the ground with when I'm on him? Slow down. Oh, yes, I can. Jokamos! <laughs> Wait, how is uh, the dog riding one? Oh, the dog's riding one too! Look at it! Wait, what? I don't know what it's talking about. Oh, it wants me to like take it back? Jokobo gang! Yeah, this is gonna make it very convenient to travel. What does he want me to look at? Okay. Those things are so freaking cute. Chocobo gang! And he can swim. Oh shit, I accidentally got into a fight. Allow me. Keep forgetting to assess them too. like a truck. Alright. Vamanos! I think I found another stray one. And I see one of the towers here. Yeah, company. Game gonna give me the high level shit so I can destroy these bastards. Get a more up here, so what's up here? Besides this little beast, whatever that is. I don't know why Tifa went up here, but you know, you do you, bestie. Chocobo! Oh, there you are. You, like, vanished away from me for a second. What? Buried treasure? Oh, 
Oh, is that it right here? How do I uh, get it? Oh, I have to scour it. Here we go. Alright. Chocobo gang! Ah, Don't damn, I was hoping to run by that. Oh well. Oh my god, what the fuck? Who was that, Tifa? Jesus Christ. Tifa, you almost fucking killed yourself. God damn it. Oh Jesus Christ, my dog just scared the shit out of me. God damn, boy. What the hell's in here? I'm like stuck. I can't get out. Here we go. Air raid shelter? Now I'm wondering if I could have brought him in or not. Oh wait, this is where I came from, no? Yeah, this is where I fucking came from. Yeah, I remember this when they opened the doors here at like the beginning, yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to get over there? Yeah, how am I supposed to get over there? Yeah, this is the town again now. Looks like I'm supposed to go back into it? I don't know if it'll let me though. Yeah, it won't let me so I can't do this yet. Or let me check. Let me check if I can go back through there. Yeah. Let's see if it'll let me. Huh. Well, shit, I think I guess it does. 
Okay then. Except all of them. What does this guy want? I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway. What's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. We are working as hard as we can to get the power of the Okay, okay. You're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the Undercity. So you don't know who he was talking about? Alright, what is this? Okay. No, I want the quest. Sure thing, son. No, I have given it a Not try a clue. myself. You're the only hot shot. Everyone, please. Most under city merch don't go bragging about being dead soldier. How the hell do I get to the flower one? Oh, this guy has one too. What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard, hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The first wasting my talents for a card. Mind if we go around? No, I don't want to fucking do that shit. Just let me know when you're ready to play. Ah, fine. Do I have to? All right, fine, I'll do it. Oh, this is just my whole deck, okay. All right, fine. I still really don't understand this game, but I'll play for the mission, I suppose. Just play, I really don't care.
Why can't I play any cards? What? Okay. You fucking asshole! I don't even, like, understand how he beat me. How did he beat me, like, so easily? What the fuck? I don't understand this game. I just, like, put cards down and hope that it's enough. Fucking prick. What the fuck? Beat me again. This card game is like the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. Why did they make it a part of the game? That's how it works. No! Ah. You are such a fucking cunt. How can I not play anything? What? Oh, here we go. I really want to play this one, but it's not letting me. Oh, this is stupid, man. Why is this why does this have to be a side mission? Oh my god. Man, I'll try like maybe one or two more times. This is so dumb.
I already... Oh, shit. I didn't know I can play that one. Did he just already beat me? What the fuck? Okay, yeah. This guy's card can go suck a dick. You lost against me? No way you're gonna be able to win. Well, you know what? I don't want the job. You can go back to fucking cleaning up piss in your bar. How about that? Fucking loser. I don't want to do your mission then. I don't want to do your mission then. Fuck you. Make sure you stay on the beat. I'm trying to get over here. I don't know how to do it though. So, yeah, I'm sorry. So if there's any mission with that fucking card game, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I just don't. I don't get how to play this game. How am I supposed to get over this mission? I don't know how I'm supposed to. Maybe from the clock tower? Yeah, sorry sis, I don't know how to get there. I guess I'll do this one since it's in town, so... Hello, and welcome to my humble shop! Hello, welcome to my humble shop! This. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So... Apparently, there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Okay. Imposing yet welcoming. Beautiful yet haunting. How it keeps the outside world at bay while engendering a sense of community. Does it just take pictures from this random fucking guy? Every detail was seen to. Have you taken so much hit? If you find any other scenic locations, didn't see any. Oops. Well, he only has like one so far. And I hope I can get there. This isn't just some fucking bullshit. Oh, I forgot about Chocobo. Yeehaw. This 
roads seen better days. Treasure. In the great outdoors. You do you. All right, big boy, go for it. Let's go. Problem is, how am I gonna get up there? What? Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. Can you seriously just make like a VR girl of him? I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck! Alright, let's kill him. Alright, let me see what their weakness is. Probably ice now. Fire and ice, okay. Oh shit, he threw a rock at me and he killed me. What the fuck? What? Oh my god, stop kicking me. Oh my god, this fucking thing. This thing just will not die. Jesus Christ. God damn, that thing just wouldn't die. I buy more potions when I get a chance. I don't have any. Found a little critter here too. There's your stop. A little critter. Here you go, buddy. Okay, the 
missions like up here in this fucking factory. Look at that! You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Hey, you see that? I think it's the life stream. Damn, look at this thing. Oh shit. Quick time event. Interesting. Oh my god, are they just gonna FaceTime me like every five minutes? Confirmed. Data received. Life can be discovered in That's gonna get annoying. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. This thing is really pretty though. It is super pretty. Say Merc. I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. What, is that Cloud? But I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is, uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we look for him together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so these are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there is the bare minimum. So, any questions? Sweet! See you soon! I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for spruce and wolf. Uh-huh. You say whatever you want. She has a lot of parts. See another one of these things. Alright, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be right back. Okay.